Well, here we are. We're going to be walking on Burley Moor, which is basically the moors just up above where I live. Well, where, not where I live now, where I was brought up. Which is also, I was just thinking on my way over here. Also, well, when my mum was brought up, she lived in Burley. And my grandfather used to always walk on the moors. And so I was just thinking to myself, funnily enough, I wonder if when he lived in Burley, just down the road from here, about half a mile down the road he would have lived, or well, maybe three quarters of a mile. Um, I wonder if he used to frequent these pathways, or if he used to drive to Oakley. You'd think, I would imagine he'd probably started here. Anyway, I don't very often come up this way, because it's a bit bleak compared to Oakley Moor. But today, because of time, constrictions I decided and for a change I thought we'll film here it's quite steep <laughs> all my walks are quite steep oh I'll just show you where I've come from it's lovely So over there you have Otley Chevron. I need to go over there and film because it's lovely. And I wonder if I zoom a bit more, you might be able to see. Uh, it's the mound of rocks beyond that tree there. That is Armscliff Crag, <laughs> which is over by Harrogate. It's quite famous, rather like the Cowan Calf rocks are. And I want to go and film those. I've attempted to do so a couple of times, but always ended up either getting distracted or lost. <laughs> so, here we are. Burnley and Wharfdale is my village and Burley Woodhead is just what they call the area just up the road. And actually somewhere up here is 12 Apostle Stones, which I still have yet to visit. I don't think we'll be doing it today because I need to check out a map first. Really. Unless we stumble across them by accident, that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? So, today, <laughs> today is the day before tomorrow, <laughs> funnily enough. <laughs> tomorrow is the day, the day where I leave work. Oh my God, I was getting quite emotional today can't keep those feelings locked away forever and they've been bubbling oh god seriously there just aren't any words for how I feel it's awful it's not in a way where I'm not going to do it obviously I am <laughs> but oh, it's hard very hard yeah I'm just gonna turn it around I know, I'll leave it on me for a little bit longer. Oh, I can't breathe actually. <laughs> um, it's really close still. I haven't had any rain or anything. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm going to show you the view. So, let's see, where are we? My village is just down beyond those trees, you can't really see it from up here. That's my car down there. <laughs> I filmed my mare today when I put her out in the field. And my footage just vanished. It was so frustrating. I'd refilmed, but I couldn't refilm, really. Not what I'd got, because she only reacts when you first put her out. Good boy. It is very different up here to Ilkley Moor, I think it is. Even though it's part of Ilkley Moor, it looks so different. I always think it's a lot bleaker up here. I think it must have been more heavily farmed. Little Ben! 
super dog. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Little Ben. Are you all hyper? I'm sure you are, because I have been useless, haven't I? I do feel so sorry for him. <laughs> you that fun? I really do. Yesterday, I was the most useless human being <laughs> that's ever walked the face of this earth. Honestly, I haven't uploaded our walk yet. <laughs> um, it wasn't much to shout home about, but I did film it. I got to ride one of my favourite horses today, which was nice. I might not ever ride him ever again. Here he comes. Little Ben. Um, oh yeah, you can see part of the village now. Hang on. I can't believe how dark it is. It's not that late. It's only quarter to eight. So, here we are. That's, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, where is it? The main part of the village, really centre of it as you where the main road is leading out. It's not very big as Birdie and Wolfed out, it's only small. Although it's definitely grown significantly over the years. It must be three times the size now to what it was when my mum was growing up. And definitely a third bigger to when I th first moved here. At the tender age of three years old. <laughs> I wonder what my life would have been like if I'd been brought up in Liverpool, which is where I was born. Just imagine, I might even have had a Scouse accent. I'm sure I would have had a Scouse accent. <laughs> Maybe I had a lucky escape there then. No, I'm kidding. I love Scouse accents. I think they're beautiful. Most people hate them, but no, I love them. I'm feeling a little bit less old lady-ish as what I did yesterday. <laughs> Although... Yesterday I said I, fe I felt about a thousand. No, what did I say? I said I felt a hundred. Said I felt a hundred years old, and look a, a thousand years old. Whereas today, <laughs> I would say I feel about hmm. I don't know. Maybe about eighty years old, <laughs> and look eight hundred years old. That's a new house there. Or, or else it's been cleaned. The building behind it with the lights on is called Denton Hall. So Ben's rushing around behind me. He's stopped now. Oh, look at that sky. A little bit angry. So I suppose we'll walk over to these rocks ahead of us and see what they have to offer. A bit warm. I wonder where I've got my key. <laughs> oh no, I've got it. Good boy. So anyway, I left the letter today at work for my boss. <laughs> and I'm really glad that, uh, that I wrote it because it turns out that... Uh, I'll turn this around. Once I can breathe again. <laughs> God, I can't believe how much I've been affected as a whole by everything that I'm doing. I can't breathe. I couldn't breathe yesterday either. Uh, it's not nice. In fact, I'm just going to stay stationed for a minute. Oh yeah, and I'm really hungry again, actually. I'm not eating yet. I think this has gone off. Oh no! How strange, it made a noise like it had gone off. But it's still on. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've given the letter to my boss. Um, 
Although I'd ridden it at the weekend, I hadn't really had the opportunity to. And not only that, but I hadn't really wanted to rock the boat too much in my last few days. Not that I think my letter's going to rock the boat, I think it's going to make things better. But it wasn't a chance, I was willing to chance. <laughs> so, the long and short of it is that um, my boss is a good friend, I'm very good friends with. Well, her best friend, I'm really good friends with. And she comes and she... Oh, God, this is hard work. <laughs> she comes and she rides out a few days a week. And... Uh, I said to her, oh yeah, apparently Sue thinks I'm trying to cause a revolution or something. <laughs> um, and she said, oh yeah, she said, she said. <laughs> and I said, are you kidding me? And she said, no. <laughs> I said, well, did you say anything to her? I said, because it's so frustrating, you know, that she's thinking I've been trying to stir everyone up. And I hadn't even told people that I was leaving. <laughs> I'm going to sit on this rock because it's a little bit windy when I'm stood. Then I can maybe have the camera down a bit. And so, oh, little Ben. So no, she didn't say anything, but you know, my boss is the kind of person that it's very difficult to say stuff to when she's got an idea in her head like that. Hence why I write letters rather than try and speak to her on a one-to-one. -one. It's not because I'm scared of speaking to her. It's because she simply doesn't hear. So it's pointless. So that's why I write letters, if I've got something I really want to say. Not that I do it very often, because <laughs> I don't. Most things you do, I just let go. But I can't with this, it's too important, you know? At the end of the day, I don't want her thinking something so untrue. And this is like my last, last memory. And I feel like she's so determined to try and find a reason to fall out with me. That that's really why she's been so quick to jump on this whole thing. Rather than try and get to the bottom of it and to the truth. Anyway, hello. So, yeah, the long and short is, she's got the letter, she'll hopefully read it today. I left it, I had to leave it. Couldn't give it to her personally because she wasn't there, so I've left it uh, outside of front back door, but on a shelf. And then I texted the lad in charge. I said, oh, I've left the letter for Sue, can you just make sure that she gets it? So, it's done. And it can't make things any worse, because they can't get any worse, can they? She currently thinks I've been stirring everyone up and trying to get people to strike and basically cause a revolution. Well, whilst there's a part of me that definitely thinks how cool that would be, if it was true, <laughs> to be, like, remembered for trying to start a revolution, yeah, that would be quite cool. But the, the fact of the matter is, it's just not the truth, you know? So, and it's not really cool to what I want, because... If I'd wanted that, then I really, I really could have done it. And it's more a matter of their fears being played out and being made into a... Well, she's trying to make them into a reality as opposed to the real truth of the matter, which is, yeah, I probably could start a revolution if I wanted to, <laughs> but there's a horse there that I care far too much about to start stirring people up, um, and it really just wouldn't suit, like anywhere where I'm at in my life now. I've worked for my bosses for years. I've accepted for years how they are. Um, to work for them, I've accepted certain things about the job. And I've done so with an open heart and an open mind because I made the choice to work there knowing that there's certain elements which really aren't great. But I made that choice and I was willing to compromise certain things in life for the other things in life that you do get from working there and so it'll be really stupid to turn around when you're leaving and then just like basically try and um well just just it would just be stupid you know why would you do that and so that's how I feel about it you know I'm not happy to still live in the ways, the ways which I've had to compromise can't carry on doing forever. I, you know, I simply can't. So that's why I'm leaving now, and that's why I'm changing things now. But, you know, I'm in a totally different part of my life to everyone that I work with. I'm 37 in 19 days. Everyone I work with uh, in the late teens, early 20s, we're poles apart. We're literally, like, a lifetime apart from one another. 
come a little bit and we'll move. So, yeah, more than anything, I'm just, I'll stop going on about this in a second. But more than anything else, I just find it quite offensive that she thinks things about me which is so far from the truth, you know. Oh, let's film this, this is interesting. So, I wonder why this is here, because we've just walked up an area which has got a steep valley going down each side. Why? Well, I mean, not a valley, steep incline going down each side, which is where a stream turns into a brook in the winter time. So I think that this here, and I could be wrong, because I'm guessing, <laughs> but it could well have been a burial mound of some sort. You've got the rocks down the side. You've got the mound, like, way that it is. But then I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, maybe not, it goes up too far. So, but it definitely looks like it's been built at some point in time, and I'm sure it will have been. Even though I'm now going the wrong way, the quote-unquote wrong way compared to where I was going, because I was going up there. We can still go up there. Just doing a detour. Uh, probably, hopefully, maybe somebody who does know about these moors <laughs> might see where I'm filming and be able to comment. I mean, from a really shallow perspective, you could just say, oh, it's a road. Or maybe at one point in time it was a road. But <clears throat> you wouldn't get anything up there now except for a tractor. Well, maybe that... No. Short of, it, short, short, short of them digging it out at some point in time, which is possible. I'd like to know the original reason for this being here. Is it just something as simple as they've got, had a tractor come along, dig it up? <laughs> or, oh my god, I don't know. I'm not going to stand here and speculate over and over. So there's a house opposite me, which is quite nice. I'm going to zoom into it in a second. I really should watch where I'm walking, then we wouldn't have such uh, shakes as just there. <laughs> this house here. Actually, it looks, from this angle anyway, it looks a lot like the house which Mum was brought up in. It's not, though. It'd be such a cool place to live, though. Literally. <laughs> You'd be getting blown away in the winter time. But no, I like it. This event is looking gorgeous. I wonder if I can get him before he moves. No, oh, he's moved. Um... Oh, I've realised I've got in the terrible habit of saying erm all the time. It's very uncreative. <laughs> Mind you, that is quite representative of where I've been at for the last uh, few weeks, I'd say. It's quite ironic, really, isn't it, that whilst creating a new life, until one's got rid of the uh, remnants of the old life, or should I say present life, one doesn't really have any uh, creative energy spare. It's all being used up. It's all being used up. So the last thing I feel at the moment is creative. To the point actually where I bought some beautiful uh, new plants to plant at home and they're still sitting in their uh, punnets. I'll do them at the weekend. So, oh gosh, <laughs> this little detour. So I always have to find people's clothes up here. <laughs> Has brought us to this set of rocks. And look, an old pair of boots. Hmm. We'll be able to stand at the top of that, um, what I thought was the burial thing in a moment and see. Oh yeah, and look, this is where the water does come gushing down in the winter time, down the bottom of there, where it's the most dark green colour. Windy up here, so uh, 
we'll have a look at these a look at these rocks and then we'll uh, get in our way I think oh this little bear keeps <laughs> dashing about I need to I should have found I've got a stick in my car but I forgot to pick it up oh boy so they're not that large, they're not that big, but they're quite substantial. Let's see, how big are you? They've got some old marks on them. Um, they're a bit taller than me. I nearly knocked the camera off then. Mind you, we're almost uh, up anyway. <laughs> I feel very silly when I do this stuff like this. Yeah, they're a bit taller than me. Not a foot taller than me, I'd say. So, let's see if we can get the top of that mound we walked up in this section. Because we're not far from it. Ben just got caught eating poop. Sheep poop. Can't imagine how revolting it must taste, but dogs seem to think it tastes nice. Any kind of vegetarian animal's poop they like to seem to eat. Oh no, not just vegetarians, they'll eat cat poop as well. Disgusting. And so we're almost, I think, almost at the top of this moundy thing. And we'll, we'll see where it goes to. I do think it's been, been, has been used to drive up in recent years. That's, I'm not disputing that. I just don't think that would have been its original purpose for being. But it could be, I suppose. Stranger things would have happened. <laughs> but I can't see why it would need to be so low down. You know? There's no reason why you'd have to have it so low down. I just thought it looked a lot like the burial mounds over on Bailden Moor, near where I, I filmed. It's where by Shipley Glen, that's got a burial mound by it. So, these moors do date back pretty much as far back as time began. So, oh Ben, no, no, come on. I love him rolling, but not, not in rabbit droppings. <laughs> this little monkey. So onwards to the other rocks then now. We should come out just above them. In fact, we might have to go down a little bit and then we'll see. Yeah, I think we're going to have to follow this little track here. Ben's off. <laughs> Bearing in mind how many uh, amazing like rock things there are up here, you'd think they'd like put a few signs up so that people can find <laughs> where they want to be. But I suppose, on the other hand, it's quite nice that you can't necessarily just find things so easily, you have to be a little bit more savvy to to find where you want to get to. Well we are literally on top of the rocks which I wanted to film. It's perfect. I want to get down here. <laughs> this will shelter us a wee bit. Is this the one coming? No. Ben? Where is he? Ben? Oh, he's there. Ben? Ben, which side of the fence are you at? Ah, I feel like I'm going to break my ankle or something. Oh, he's there. There's no way he'll come across from there, I don't think. Come on, little one. <laughs> he says, no, I'm off, Mum. Well, anyway, here we are. Look, it looks like there's a cross at the top. I don't think it's intentional necessarily there. I'd love, it would be really cool to be able to live